Hi, it's Maggie. Today, I'm going to show you a house that is on the market for short sale. So short sale hasn't been discussed for a while. It's just because in Seattle area, it's really hard to find a short sale or foreclosed property right now. So short sale meaning that the homeowner is not able to pay for the monthly payment to the bank. So they have to discuss with the bank to actually put it on the market before it goes into the foreclosure process. So short sale is actually listed lower than the market value of the home. That's why a lot of investors are really interested in short sales. So foreclosed property is a bit different than if the home is already in the foreclosure process, it means that the homeowner doesn't own this home anymore. The ownership is transferred back to the bank and the bank will actually list it in the courthouse and then people can bid for the foreclosed properties. So you cannot actually go into a foreclosed property, but you can actually go into a short sale property. That's why we are here today in Kirkland, and this home is listed at 890,000. It is a split entry, 2,270 square feet, four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Let's go and check it out. So like I said, normally short sale properties are listed under the market value because it is not renovated, it is not cleaned, you know, sometimes there are trash everywhere. So the new homeowner has to take care of everything themselves. The home is sold as is. So for example, this home, when you come in, you can see the carpet is really dirty and it needs to be replaced and probably need to paint the house, etc. Let's go and see if there's anything else that needs to be changed. So it depends on what you want to do with the house. If you want to buy it and live in this, you probably want a new flooring and then maybe new glass or windows. But if you do just wanna buy it and rent it out, you probably just need some cleaning and just new interior paint. So the kitchen is actually have new work cabinet, but it was kind of beat up already. You probably want either a paint on the cabinet or just get new cabinet if you want to buy and live in it. Definitely need some new countertop, you know, cords, and then new backsplash. I think the appliances are pretty dirty now, so I think it's just better to change them as well. So the bedrooms, uh, same thing, because each bedroom has a very colorful paint right now, so you probably want neutral paint, better flooring, and then the uh, bathroom actually is very dirty right now, so it's hard to say whether you need to replace everything, but probably you can keep the tiles and just change the vanity, the toilet, and get a better mirror and new paint, and that's it. So it won't cost you a lot. So a lot of investors are interested in short sales because normally it's listed under the market value, but for this home, it's listed at $890,000, which is a great deal. But now, because there are so many people who are bidding on it, as for now, I think they have offers over $1.15 million already. In this area, in Totem Lake, for a home at 2,270 square feet, I think 1.15 million is not that cheap anymore just because you have to spend a lot of money in the house to get it ready for renting or for living in. So you have to be really careful where you bid on a short sale. If you are interested in this kind of home or other investment properties in the Seattle area, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm Maggie, I'll see you next time.